Okay, so hello, another challenge. Uh, this time we'll do this forensics. Uh, we have here Hunter challenge from cyberdefenders.org. So this is a 30 item challenge. Uh, of course, you have to download this, and I'll give you the details. So here we have the overview. We're in the soft team. Got an alert regarding illegal port scanning coming from an employee system. So the employee is not authorized and the employee claimed he had no idea. The IRT managed to respond and take full forensic image of the user system. So let's go. Cool. So there is a theory the user intentionally installed illegal applications and other things. He was probably planning something bigger for the endpoint scanning. And again, we are seem to be dealing with a disgruntled employee here because of salary raise rejection. Okay. There might be an outsider helping him. So very interesting case. So here are the tools you need to use. Okay, so once you have downloaded it, uh, of course export it uh, here. Uh, you will see it has an AD1 file that will be extracted and you have to mount it using FTK imager or any image mounting tools you have. Okay, so just to mount it, so simply file and add evidence item and select image file. You can browse it, browse the image file right here. So we have here, and after clicking it, uh, you will now be able to browse the disk image like a uh, Windows Explorer. So, of course, now the key thing here is to to know where the where to look for uh, with respect to the question being asked, okay, or the evidence that is needed to be found. All right. So, first question that out of the way so we have here what is the computer name of the sub suspect machine so of course uh, one thing to look for uh, with respect to machine info is the registry so it's a treasure trove of uh, useful information so what I have here is I, I went to okay I went to drive drive c windows and then config so now in the c windows config folder inside it you will find the system registry hive right here so you can write we can extract it actually export the file i actually did here uh exported it in drive b system and then we can load it using registry explorer okay so let me try to unload it and show you so load hide okay just select the extracted system virtual uh, hide okay so for here do you want to replay construction logs we don't have that so no then load the dirty hide and from here uh, we already have the registry hive so so you have to know where to found so for the host name we can found it under control set control then computer name computer name and we have here forensics which is that okay so next what is a computer ip so we found this so again can be found in the system register hive. Okay, it's actually here in this key services, TCP IP, parameters, interfaces. <clears throat> here uh, you can see here the 
DHCP IP address. All right. Okay, three, what was the DHCP least obtained time? Okay, so again, I need to refer to the system register hive. Actually, you need to browse here, control set, services, TCP IP, parameters, interfaces. So same, same key from the previous question. And in this case, uh, you look on the least obtained time. Uh, we will get the value in decimal. So you could copy it, right click, copy value data. Okay, and then we could use this website, actually Unix time Apple converter. So you could paste it and convert. And you will get actually the date. All right, so, but the format being asked by the question is DBMMYY. And then we'll have 21, this format, 06, 2016, and the exact R date, the R minutes and seconds. Okay, so. Okay, number four, what is the computer scene? So we found this, so again, to get this, go back to the folder image, and in this path, see Windows System 32 config, we export this software hive, register hive, and once it's done, so I already did, export it here, software, and what you need to do is open it using and the Register Explorer tool. Of course, I use the Register Explorer itself. Load Hive Software. Okay. Give it time to load. Okay, just now. Yes. Okay, so we will locate it in Microsoft. Actually, in the search profile. Profile list. Okay, so under Microsoft Windows current version, Microsoft Windows. Yeah, so let's do it again. Microsoft Windows. Windows current version. Profile list. Profile. Windows version Windows NT. Weird. Come on again, search again. Should be here somewhere. Just 
special windows NT version the profile list okay there it is and here it is so you can copy the value okay. copy key name there and just remove the last part get that okay what is the operating os operating system version so again on the software register high so remember in the last question so we'll just move one hierarchy up in the current version and it will already give us this one windows 8.1 Okay. Okay, what was the computer time zone? So for this one, go back to the uh, disk image, and we will get this time the system system register hive export export it to G. Okay. Let's see if it's there. Yeah, so I have here the system already, and we'll load it again to Register Explorer. Okay, press OK. No, we don't have a play. Load the dirty hive. Oh, can we get the play grid to load? Okay, we already have the system here. Collapse. And it's actually here. I have here my handy cheat sheet. So it's current control set. Control. Computer name, time zone information. Computer name. Current control set control. There. Perhaps it's in here. Here, yeah, we have time zone. And here, actually, at Actually, at PST, four thirty-two. Yes. So it's ours has PST. Okay, let's search for CPT. Standard time is eight hours. For UTC eight eight hours ahead of Pacific. It's UTC minus eight. Okay, so for this one, this one. Okay, I think I got it wrong. Okay, 
Alright, she was two minus eight. Why is not accepted? Yeah, so it's yeah, so it's eight hundred minus. Yeah, I think I got the format wrong. So if not, let's try daylight saving time. Okay, and it works. So it's daylight saving time, right? Okay, so for this one. Uh, how many times did the user log onto the computer? So we could do this by registry or by event log. So I'll choose to do it by event log. So as you can see here, uh, we use again Zimmerman tools. And I'll do here. So we will extract our first. First thing, of course, is to extract the logs off of the disk image. So you could extract here the security dptx. So right click export. So once it's exported, uh, right here. Okay, extracted the security logs, it's event logs, and now we could parse it. So we could use this one abtxcmd.exe so i'll uh, put it at security events.csv so we could try this command and let's see okay now processing it okay done so let's go there so security events we have here yeah, I said, and now we can open it using any Excel tool or Timeline Explorer. So it's already mapped to Timeline Explorer, so you can open it. And let's, of course, you could search for 4624 and you could actually open it using the native, uh, native event viewer, but it's really hard to filter. So as you can see here. So the, the user being talked about here is this one, the computer seed. So if you see the in event viewer, you will see that the ma it is mapped to the user. It's actually mapped to the user hunter. Oh, I see. It's hard to see here, but you could easily see this here. So successful lagons are 4624, right? 4624. Okay, we have 107, but that's not the answer. Okay, you could inspect here easily. So you could notice here the seed can be shown here. Okay, I think I reached the last. Oh yeah, the target user seed is this one. So later on, you will see this one. Okay, let's get it right. Target username. Okay, where's that seed? I found it a while ago. Okay, that's weird. Subject user seed. Oh yeah, it's not in the subject user seed, it's in the target. Yeah, so some something like here. So you can see here target user seed. This is the same seed we have right here. 710705792 and it translates to target username hunter okay so with that being said so of course uh, given this a target machine so we can assume that 
the attacker username, gate admin privileges. So we could filter. Uh, we could just limit the user to hunter. So let's go back. Hunter. Okay, it's down six, but again, we are interested more in the privilege account logon. So we could change this to 4672. And we're down to three. So there's three administrative logon by this hunt user hunter. And that's actually the answer here. All right. Then for number eight, when was the last logon time for the discovered account? So we could immediately see here, 2016, last logon time. Okay, the, the question is last logon time for the discovered account. Okay, so 2016, 40. So we get here's the answer. is actually the answer 40 there okay there's another scanner running in the circle that's the end of the last time the suspect used it okay is the form actually we found Zen map yeah so the best place to look it, look for it, is just Windows Prefetch. So these are the evidences of execution, right? Actually, there's a map as well as here. And then, uh, but, of course, uh, send map is the right answer. So, this is actually interesting. Okay, so this is right here. Uh, then now, this one. So this is a duplicate. So I extracted it twice. So to read it, uh, we use Zimmerman tool. And this is the query. So PCMD dash. So make sure you have downloaded this from Zimmerman tool. And just run it. And actually, it will give you the prefetch, right? It's a forensic artifact that contains the uh, last runtimes and uh, references directories, modules uh, involved in the execution. So, very powerful artifact. So, the runtime. So, that's how we got the answer. Okay, number 10. When did the port can end? So, Example. So again, on the nmap scan that XML, uh, actually, as you can see, this is the scan scan results, the nmap scan results to this specific, and we can find the completed date at the bottom. So call here, the right new uh, uh, this one. Finished. Okay. Okay, my mouse is not operating. Let's see this thing. And close in the finish. June 21, 5209, 2016. Okay. And then how many ports was end? So we found 1,000. Actually, we could find here. Uh, we'll show you open ports, open, filtered, and closed. So detected here. Nine four closed ports, but there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six others who are open and two. What ports are found open? So, yeah. So, 22, 29, 31, 27. 
point and what was the version of the network scan actually in the top here and map version 7.12 right <coughs> okay 14 so the employee engaged in a Skype conversation with someone so what is the Skype username of the other party so to do this let's go back to so here in the image so actually you could find here under the users folder hunter uh, we could actually explore there at data then roaming and we could actually found here a Skype folder and there's actually a user here hunter at and within this folder, you can find the main.db, which actually contains the Skype, con Skype conversations, Skype accounts, uh, anything related to the Skype, Skype data in general. So, what you get here, uh, you could actually export this, export file. So, in this case, I already saved it to the G. So, we can see here the G drive main.db. And you can open it using any SQLite browser tools. So as you can see here, it's already open here in gmain.db. And uh, we are looking for uh, the account, right? We're looking for the account. This one. We are looking for. Uh, the employee engage the other party the Skype username of the other party okay so let's go back so you could actually found it in the chat members so remember this is hunter app this is the Skype profile of the suspect employee and he's actually talking to this one Linux rules okay next what is the name of the application both parties agreed to use uh, to exfiltrate data and provide remote access for the external attacker. So, uh, we could explore the other tables, uh, messages. <clears throat> okay, makes sense to look in here for the conversations between the suspect employee and the other party. So, as you can see here, I need your help with the data exfiltration. I have some, some pics. Yeah, network is monitored. What kind of pics? one okay so we can find here responsive viewer okay then what is the name of the application both parties agreed to use to exfiltrate data and provide remote access for the external attacker in the SCAP environment <coughs> so again the same uh, in the same table, I suggest we can find the mention can install Team Viewer, which is actually the answer. Okay, and the next one is the Gmail address of the suspect employee. So again, we're still talking about Hunter App, which we found here. Remember, this is the Skype profile. Uh, this one, Hunter App, sign in name. And this email address can be found here. So his name is yeah ehptmsgs at gmail.com. Okay, so yeah, so that one copy okay there. Q17, it looks like the suspect user uh, deleted an important diagram after his conversation with the external attacker. So, what is the file name of the deleted diagram? So, again, uh, we will now deal with the Outlook file. So, we already know the Gmail account, right? So, it actually, we can find this PST here in Hunter and under documents uh, you can see there are outlook files so you could click outlook files and we found there a backup pst so again we can export it 
yeah export and I already did actually so here my G drive back up PST right so I already have the backup PST and I don't have an outlook but it's not really a concern because I could open it using an online PST viewer I notice here uh, this is the backup PST here and this is actually a Gmail oh oh no this is an outlook PST but notice there are some folders within and since we're dealing with the network diagram so actually the answer here is the one with the network design sub, uh, subject and notice here he emailed the other party linux rules linux rules email and there's an attachment here this is the answer okay okay so the 18 the user documents directory contained a pdf file discussing data exfiltration techniques so what is the name of the file so again uh, we can go to the documents folder and actually there are few pdfs here so we could try this one okay I'm gonna grab the file name so we could probably export Try uh, exporting the file just to get this file name. It's hard to copy via the FTK imager. Okay, so I have it. So let's try it. If it's okay, this makes it easy. Okay, copy it. And of course, there are many PDFs there. But that's the answer. Okay, so next, uh, what was the name of the disk encryption application installed on the victim system? So the hint is two words space, and it ends with P here in the hint answer format. So again, we go back, so it makes sense to check the program files. And notice here we only have one installed program, Jetico software. Uh, and we have here PC wipe so probably this is the only program and of course there are multiple programs installed there so remember uh, we're dealing with program files so makes sense to check the uninstall log same with the registry but since we have access to the file system this is much easier faster and scroll down scroll down you'll see the many programs within PC wipe uh, but actually the others are not really programmed per se uh, but PC wipe so PC wipe we have and this one ends with B so this is the only candidate and that is actually the answer so crypto wow well, all right what are the serial numbers of the two identified USB storage okay so again okay we deal again with the registry can be found in the under windows system 32 config and let's export the system register height so actually I did it so system yeah, I already did here. So again, we use Register Explorer and uh, Register Viewer. We load that extracted system hive. System hive. Yeah, just yeah, no. I just load the dirty hive. The under control set. 
Chrome uh, Enum and USB Store. Uh, actually, under it, there are the already USB detected, and you can expand it to the serial number. Serial number, and let's do this one. You just need to remove the extra end zero at the end. And you will get this. Okay. Okay. So, 21, what of the installed applications? It's the file shredder. What is the name of the application? So, we have here a hint. So, it's a two word space related. Okay. So, it, end, it ends with E. But again, we, we've been through here. So, by going to the program files. And notice here, we only have Jetico. Under Jetico, we have BC Wipe. So, it's actually a giveaway already here. So, two words, so Jetico, BC Wipe. So, easy. And then, how many prefetch files were discovered in the system? So again, you can find it under C, under C windows and then prefetch. Okay, and you just need to count here all the, you just need to count all the, the files with that PF, okay? Of course, you have to exclude the files flag. How many prefetch files? There's quite a lot. So what we could do here is hmm. Yeah, we could export everything. And it's I think this that would be easier to count it like that. So we could export all of this. Okay, let's create a folder here. Folder prefetch. Okay, let's try to export everything under G prefetch. G prefetch. Okay, so it will be easier to count. So here, and then we can sort all the PF file type, count all the PF file type only. So that makes it like this here. Okay, select all PF files. We have here 190. Okay. Oh, that's tough. Maybe I'm missing something. It's 190 here. That's weird. Okay, let's try to move this so to a separate folder. Okay, so just my folder. Okay, uh, and I can notice we can actually see the ones with zero kilobytes, so perhaps we could remove them. Okay. So we can see 174. So let's try. Oh, and there. So we have to remove the ones with zero uh, bytes and size. Okay, so how many times was the file shredder application executed? Remember, uh, we already extracted every prefetch file. Let's find the busy wipe. Okay. Now we run this. Run. We read this using the PECMD. So already have here open. So, man, so. Okay. We have the PECMD. I will just direct to the location of the file. G. PC wipe. PC. 
wipe that exit. Okay, why is it not? Perfect. Oh, okay. There. Oh, that's weird. It's not much open, so it's under me. Oh, okay. Splash. Oh, there you go. So, we survive. And there. So, we can see we survive. Was executed. Uh, other one, that's one, two, three, four, and five. So, it was five. Got it, okay. And using prefetch, determine when was the last time Zen map was executed. So, again, should be this enough. So, just using PTLD, direct it to Zen map. And we can get the last time. Okay, so we have. That again, MMD, MMD, again, so MM, slash, DB slash, Okay, jar file for an offensive traffic manipulation tool was executed. Okay, so what is the absolute pad of the file? So, yeah, so something came to mind. Uh, a proxy tool, but we already have the prefetch file, so why not? Let's run. With X. All we have here. The folder. Okay, no There. Then, why not let's run since Java? Jar is related to Java, right? So let's run into the Java.x execution. And we are looking for actually find str jar. So this will make sense. And it will give us actually this one. User Hunter downloads burp famous uh, web proxy attack tool. And we just need to convert this uh, volume to drive C. It's the usual path. So that will give us C users hunter downloads burp suit free version the jar. Okay. Okay, the suspect employee tried to expose the data. So again, still have the PST viewer here open. So Oh, I, I think I've closed it. So let's try again. Okay. Yeah, so we used this thing earlier and we have downloaded that PSD. So let's mm -hmm. open. Okay, open the PSD. Yeah, we open the PSD there. And if you recall, we have here 
So the question is, as we have a suspected attachment, so it's the dead sea. Oh, let's find them. Okay, pictures that seven C. Pictures that seven. There, so that's your answer. <coughs> okay, so twenty seven shell bag show shows the employee that the employee created the folder to include all the data he will export right. Okay, what is the full path of the folder? So we found this. So here we, we have to really extract the shell bags artifact. So we could find it actually under the users folder. Uh, up data. Uh, local, Microsoft, Windows. And actually it's already here. User class that that. So we can export it. Actually, I already did here. Which request that that. So it's the same copy. And we could actually use uh, Trust is in my man tool. Show Bags Explorer. So just load it using Show Bags Explorer. Well, Load of my hive. Just request that then. Okay, so around 16 shell bags. So of course the main for first focus is of course we, we know the the suspect user. So the suspect user is hunter. So C is hunter. I'll put for here in this directory. Oh, that sent first. Uh, documents, of course, you could, but as you can see here, something already stands out. So, xfill, and this is actually the answer xfill folder. So, shell bags is a very interesting artifact because these are the folder activity of the user being investigated. So, in this case, the suspect user hunter, right? The next, uh, the user deleted two JPEG files from the system and moved them to recycle bin. What is the name that has the resolution 1920 by 1200? So this is just a case of mix and match. So again, uh, in the image, this image, we can actually see in the root, the recycle bin folder. Yeah, there's two. There's two folder here. So here uh, one is so we could do a matching of the the size so 381 and 17 uh, bytes and we could go inside the hunters folder uh, we could focus on the pictures 381 something like 381 of course we already know the Excel but it's not there. Create one. Oh yeah, there's also a private here. And as you can notice here, there's also a 381 here. You can see here, same cat, cutie picture. And in here, this is also the same picture. So FTK really, uh, it's really useful in mixing and match, <coughs> comparing deleted and existing files. So yeah, that's how we arrive here with WL the name of directory where information about jobless items uh, created automatically by the system is stored. So yeah, little bit research. So jobless. Yeah, so John, please, as you can see here, uh, just searching it uh, to already give you some keywords automatic destinations and custom destinations and automatic destinations with the answer 
And for next one, uh, using Jamfish Analyst Analysis provide the compat of the application with the app ID, this one is to bypass network monitoring. So going back, as you can see here, already pulled export to the file. So this is the location of the automatic or the uh, custom destination. So it's under the user. Uh, we have here the suspect uh, user, Hunter. And under it, up, up data, roaming, Microsoft, Windows, and then recent. So there are two locations, but the file in question is under custom destination. So going back, so this one, A287, triple A in the end, is right here. So we can export it. So I already did here. Uh, G, this one, you can open it using Jump Plus Explorer, which I did here. Uh, this here is this uh, jump this item and you can explore the contents and load the open and you could actually find the exact path of that jump list so uh, this one uh, it's just weird because it's not accepting it as the answer so that's it that's the last one guys if you can learn something